I love Mitch. He's great. He's a great guy. That's why he slowed down and let us win. You can tell he wasn't floored it. Like his tour is almost as good as mine. That's how great he is. The Dells worth that? <laughs> we haven't decided yet. You haven't decided yet, okay. Because I live like 20 minutes away and the Dells isn't even worth that for me. <laughs> Maybe that's because I work here though. You guys want to hear how the Wisconsin Dells got its name? Okay, throw your hands up if you do. Throw your hands up if you don't care. Ah, see, there's always a few. Alright. <laughs> So, Wisconsin is the Native American word for land of dark, flowing water. And Dells comes from the French word Dalle, which means overpriced gift shops and water parks. <laughs> and Dells does come from the French word Dalle, but that means layered rock. So this is the land of dark, flowing water and layered rock. Now, if you're wondering why the Wisconsin River has that dark, murky brown tint to it, well, about two miles upstream is a Wisconsin sewage treatment plant and they're having containment issues right now. Yeah, so I'd wash your hands very thoroughly. You guys are like, wow, he made a poo joke on tour. <laughs> All right, what there really is, is a tamarack swamp 200 miles upstream. And that swamp releases a chemical into the water called tannic acid. You guys hear the words tannic acid and you're like, Ian, that doesn't sound too good either. It's actually pretty common. You can find it in tons of everyday items. You can find it in stuff like Pepsi, Coca-Cola, root beer. I had some in my Jack Daniels before tour. The reason it doesn't say tannic acid on the label is because it's known as all natural caramel coloring. Ergo, the dark murky brown color of the water. So that's the reason for that. Pretty much anything that's caramel colored it probably has tannic acid in it. more you know. Welcome to Ian's World of Facts. Hey, look off the left-hand side. You guys can see something pretty rare that you won't find anywhere else in the Dells. You know what it is? It's free entertainment. That's Dell... No. What am I? That's Newport Beach. It's a public beach, so you guys can go there, spend your day having fun in the sun if you want. Or I could just park the duck on the beach right now. Whatever you guys are feeling, I'm okay with it. Or we could like turn around, go downstream, hook up with the Mississippi, then end up in like Florida or New Orleans or Costa Rica, Cuba. It's gonna take us like eight weeks to get that far, <laughs> but I think it'd be worth it. look way upstream you can see that we do share these waters with another duck company if you guys are wondering what the differences between our tours are well they're really main two differences first they have the green and white paint job we have the army camo second difference is a little bit harder to notice you probably have to ride one of their tours to really see it but our duck drivers are just way better looking but you guys all know it's true i know you don't want to say that but you know it's true my 
get a little loud and a little bumpy as we make our way up Del Creek. There's a deer, guys. Hey, Mitch, look, a deer. That's one of our animatronic deer. <laughs> See, the deer and the dells are actually pretty tame, so they can get pretty close to a duck sometimes. And people who aren't really used to deer, I love the questions they have because the questions are like, can you walk up and pet them? And I'm like, yeah, I rode one to school once. And they believe me and it's so much fun. All right, now this is Dell Creek. It fills up Lake Delton, empties out of Newman's Dam and flows down into the Wisconsin River. We used to go all the way upstream to show you guys Newman's Dam, but unfortunately we can no longer do that. People kept taking too many damn pictures, I'm sorry. We're gonna make our way back to property. That's where we'll have a question session if you guys have any. If not, it's like a forever hold your peace kind of deal. 